Question number 11, Kamwalt Singbachi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Commerce and Consumer Affairs and ask what actions is the government taking to limit the powers of repossession agents? Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Mr Speaker, recently I joined Associate Minister of Justice in announcing new laws that will better protect consumers from those repossession agents who act in an unscrupulous manner. Uh, from 6 June 2015, all repossession agents must be registered with fines of up to $40,000 for those who breach those rules. Those new requirements are one of a number of changes focused on increasing consumer protection under the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Amendment Act 2014. Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Kamal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What are the requirements of repossession agents is the government implementing? Oh, Honourable from the 6th of June 2015, creditors will only be allowed to repossess an item if it is specifically identified in the credit contract, and repossession agents will no longer be permitted to take certain essential items such as beds and cooking equipment. The new changes will also prevent someone from becoming a licensed repossession agent if they have committed certain crimes, including violence and dishonesty offences. Increasing consumer protection, Mr Speaker, through an enhanced repossession agent Licensing regime is just another important part of our business growth agenda. Question number 12, Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of